guys, welcome back to another amazing video. It's your boy Sauce Game. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button. I'll be dropping way more videos in the future. Without further ado, let's get in this amazing video. Now we just got out of jail. Oh, we served 19 years for our boss. And he's acting like he don't even know us no more, so we're fighting our own people that were part of our family. And they said they're visiting a very important grave. Well, let's figure out whose grave it is they're visiting. Oh man, I didn't even know they can grab you. Ooh. Got him out of swing. He's out. Well, ooh. Hold it together. Check this out. Come on now. Got him out of swing. Took him out completely. Alright, so yeah, they're visiting a very important grave. I wonder who it is. You bastard. You think you're getting away oh, with man. this? Oh, you want some more? Enough! Hey, fellas, we're sorry, okay? Well, my friend here, he's... he's a little crazy. What the hell you said? Look, I'll <laughs> give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. So what, you get beat up so you pull out a gun? Go of me, damn it! Don't you get it? That's my boss! Boss! Horikawa son! I got out today! It's Ichibo! What? Dude acts like he doesn't even know me. Why didn't he recognize me? You were gone for 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? No way! He didn't forget me! I mean, shit! He sent me a letter in prison! I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go and his eyes, too. He definitely heard you. <laughs> Pretty sure your eyes met, too. No, he didn't! I understand it's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. But take a hint. Yeah. Best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. That sucks. That's not true. I know the problem. <sighs> Think. Why would visiting a grave? Probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave. And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he'd recognize me on the spot. Yeah. All I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here. Hey. Look at that. He's, uh... Definitely visiting a different grave. <laughs> Which one? That's... That's the former Omi chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance? The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys? It's a logical thing for him to do, since he's an Omi officer. What? Huh? Listen here, old-timer. Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo! Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? The Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. What? Huh? What? So he lied to us. It was him that was selling the secrets to the what Omi Alliance. Masumi Arakawa is currently the acting captain of the Omi Alliance. He's the second in command. What? What are you talking Plot about? Plot twist. That can't be true. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Plot twist. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third string family in the Tojo clan. Man. Honestly, guys, if, if you played any of the... Not the greatest played, position, I don't, I, but oh, the wait. tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub the city of crime. I knew he, he had to be something. He started targeted attacks on all Tojo's sources of funding. He called it the Kamracho 3K Plan. The hell's that? An anti-Yakuza policy. Keep them hungry, keep them poor, and keep them out. 3Ks. The police started raiding major Yakuza families with surgical precision. Family officers were being arrested one after the other. There was just one exception. The Arakawa family. Huh? 
The reason the police were able to destroy the Tojo clan so fast was because they had inside intel from the Arakawa family. The Tojo's Basically, gone? Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the cops. No, he wouldn't! <laughs> I'm not even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely wiped off the map, the Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamurocho. And you know what the cops did? They looked the other way. Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the table. Like what? I'm talking about a bribe, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash so they would ignore the Omi Alliance's expansion. And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling a single drop of blood. To pay back the favor, they welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their organization as the acting captain. Meanwhile, in the eyes of the Tojo clan, Arakawa had committed high treason. So what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's pitiful. Don't let it get you down. It had nothing to do with you. You okay? Nothing is fucking all right! Yeah, didn't think so. Oh, you know what? You're a fucking terrible liar! So, no way in hell it went down like that! Arakawa-san was like the walking image of duty and honor! You saw him! He was visiting an Omi grave. Think about that. That wasn't Arakawa-san! I haven't seen the guy for 18 years, so how am I supposed to recognize him? Now that I think about it, that guy wasn't even wearing clothes that Arakawa-san would wear! <sighs> you do recall the men you fought identified themselves as Arakawa. <laughs> I... We must have misheard him! Where are you taking me anyway? This isn't the way to Kamurocho! We're going to Yokohama. What? No, I need to get to- I told you, there's nothing for you there. But come with me to Yokohama. And as I've said, the two of us have business to attend to. Enough mystery! What business? An investigation. You are gonna help me with it. Oh, fuck off! I should have helped you with anything, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice in the matter? Soon we'll be in Kanagawa Prefecture, my jurisdiction. Now calm down. And let's have some peace and quiet, hmm? You know what? Stop the car right now! Or else I'll fuck you up! Hey, Kasuga! If you won't come the easy way, I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. You want that? Oh, now the threats are starting, huh? Well, at least they make you seem like a real cop. Oh, is that right? Yeah, like any dirty cop. You're coming up with some bullshit story to trick me. So what is it you want? For me to do some of your dirty work? I can see right through you, fucker. What family in Yokohama are you from? Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? But I guess there's no <laughs> cure for stupid. Ha! <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Come, Rocho! Were you even listening? You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're a Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, at least I'll get one hell of a story out of this, how I nearly got kidnapped right out of prison. Oh, you are such a dumbass. I have to go find Arakawa-san now. He's somewhere in Kamurocho waiting for me. Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. Now see ya. I promise, Kasuga. There's nothing left for you in Kamurocho. Damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he has to see it for himself. What the hell was that? <laughs> the cell phone. <sighs> Alright guys, so let me give you a little quick breakdown of everything i kind of wanted to do it but i didn't i couldn't really pause it because of the part that was at but um omi alliance and tojo clan have been major rivals throughout all of the games so it kind of frustrates me and i guess it kind of frustrates everyone that's been playing them since the start because we played the very first one all the way up to now you'll know that the tojo clan has always been the family you're with and the omi alliance has always been the enemy so it's kind of sad to say I mean, kind of sad to see that the tojo clan is completely wiped out and they're completely gone 
and the Omni Alliance came in and took over everything. I mean, there's always been pa- power struggles, and then the Korean Mafia comes in and they take over certain parts. But it's never been the part where the Tojo clan was completely wiped out. And I'm kind of curious on Yakuza 8, and then, you know, the next one's going to come out. I'm kind of curious on how that's going to be because of the Tojo clan being completely wiped out. Is it going to be rebuilt? Are they going to do it that Kirima has to come back and he has to rebuild it? Because he is the fourth chairman and that was the player you played as. So he was the he was the leader of the family, but really it was, you know, it was cut short. So I'm kind of curious and I'm kind of questioning things. and I'm trying to put everything together, but I just kind of want to break that down for y'all real quick and kind of explain everything and kind of tell y'all and kind of catch y'all up on everything. Is that a cigarette? <laughs> it's a vape. So yeah guys, so for our boss to do the highest treason and help get rid of the Tojo clan, that's, I don't know. And Daigo Dojima, he is the sixth chairman and I kind of, I remember he was shot in the last game, but he was never dead, he was still the leader, so I kind of wonder, like, hey, is he in jail right now, or like, where is he at? And then Kirima's son. Even though Kirima is the fourth chairman and he decided to give up everything and he didn't want to be a Yakuza anymore and you know he just works at his orphanage that he owns, did they wipe him out also or what? You know, there's a lot of questions to ask and there's a lot of red flags to raise up. So these are Yakuza newbies. This one's a lower level so let's knock him out first. Better, better swing. He's completely gone. Ooh. Okay. So, let's get him. Batter, 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 swing. Almost completely out. Oh, missed. I dodged that perfectly. Batter, 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 swing. And he's done out for the count. So we just got 80 cash. So yeah, guys, one thing we haven't done yet what I think we should do is look at the map. So the map is pretty much similar to all the other Yakuza's. You got your Kirimocho Hills, which these were pretty much for the poor people and the homeless at one point. But now they're the, the hills. Um, there's Little Asia. There's the Champion District. The Champion District was a little more up here. But I guess since they extended that, they kind of put the Champion District more right here down, down below. And let's see. They kind of extended this side a little bit. So what I notice is that, see, the Millennium Towers, where are they at? Well, we're going this way, so we'll probably take a quick look. Because I remember in one of them, the Millennium Towers has... I don't know how to speak. <laughs> the Millennium Towers have been blown up multiple times. Oh, never mind, it's there. So that is the highest skyscraper of the whole game. And that's where the Yakuza hang out at. The highest of the Tojo clan, they have their family offices there, but I guess now that belongs to the Omi Alliance, since the Tojo clan is gone. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that tower real quick. It's the tall, tallest tower in the game. You can't even see the top of it. Like all these other ones, you can see the top of it. Look, you can barely see it from there. So yeah, that's the, the tallest tower, and the only people that own it is pretty much the Yakuza. You, you have to be Yakuza to be able to afford that. Oh, and Majima-san. I wonder if Majima-san is in here. He has to be, right? There's no way he's dead. Oh, man. But Majima-san was a Tojo clan operative. So of all the Tojo clans in jail, I'm pretty sure Majima might be in jail right now, so they might not show Majima. I'm sorry, guys. But I'm just rambling all over the place. This is it. So is the office it? is empty. Hey, are you supposed to be here? You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? <laughs> office? This used to be, you know, a girl's bar. What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar, it was a computer store. Before that, it was a <laughs> maid cafe, and before that, a Filipino bar, I think. But 18 years ago, a, a family had their office here. The Arakawa family? Don't you know what I'm talking about? A family? Not a family family. I... <laughs> the Yakuza office, okay? Anyway, I know it was here. Uh, that's too far back even for my old bones. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. Oh, so you do know them? I don't think there's a soul on this side of town who does it. They're a huge, famous family. Really? 
Finally, some good news. So where are they? I'm looking for them. <sighs> In this day and age, Yakuza can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Yeah. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand where they're headquartered. She always knows what's going on. Okay. I bet you she's not even there anymore either. I bet you turn it to something else. <laughs> Alright, so pretty much all he was saying is that he's happy that our family's big now. Well, our ex family. And, um, yeah, so let's ask the cigarette lady, but I'm, like I said, guys, I'm pretty sure I doubt she's even there anymore. But let's check her out, anyways. Oh, crap, her little stand is here. Oh my god, I just gave myself the creep, guys. The old woman? <laughs> this scared myself. Oh, you mean the previous owner? <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time ago. Probably taking it easy in an old folks' home by now. Oh, I see. Uh, hey, do you know where the Arakawa family office is? It, if you're not making a purchase, I should help the customer behind you. I just want to know where the Arakawa office is. Hey, some of us got places to be. Give me the usual. Man. Yes, here you are. 500 yen, please. Just put it on my tab. Wow. People sure have gotten rude since I was gone. How pathetic. You say something? Where'd you learn your manners, huh? Mom raised you in a barn? Jeez. Oh, and you're walking around town wearing a Tojo badge? Oh, wait. It's Omi Alliance. So, you're in the know. What family are you from? Me? I'm Arakawa. Oh, uh... Nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. Like hell you are! You're lying out here with the Omi symbols, faking like you're Arakawa! Wait, were you and that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Hmm? Oh, yeah, there was a big ceremony scheduled. But only the Patriarch and his officers go to stuff like that. Maybe some of their assistants, too, but that's it. Damn, you must be newer than me. Tell me one thing. Who's our patriarch right now? Dude, you living under a rock? Just tell me who it is. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa, obviously. Man, you forgot the name of your patriarch? Get your shit together. Hey, you don't order me to do anything. I'm not Omi. Oh, but you just said you were in the Arakawa family. Damn right. And that family is part of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? You sleep talking, dude? Do I look fucking asleep? <laughs> no, you don't. You must be one of those Tojo pests still crawling around. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate them on sight. You owe me are the ones who invaded. This city is Tojo turf, not anymore. I do Tojo roaches need to die already. The dude got me a roach. You know what? The battle is on. I mean, we're part of the same family, but there's different clans. Come on now. Better, better swing. Swing, swing. Oh, cool. I didn't get to block that one. All right. Come on better, better, better swing. And he's down for the count. That's how you do it. And we got another hundred bucks uh. on us. So that, well, that's like 180 so far. Yes, Honeyki. That guy's a Tojo loyalist. Get him. What? Get back here. You won't catch me. Huh? Oh. <laughs> the champion district is a sight for sore eyes. Oh, the old lady. Eureka smoke Ichi. Huh? I do? Oh yeah, I guess I was just at, at the tobacco shop. Wait. Don't you smoke yourself? Eh? Get out of here. I gave up drinking and smoking ages ago. What? Moonshine Michi <laughs> with cold cold sober? 
It must have been around when you went to prison. I ended up getting pretty sick. It was either quit drinking the smoking or let them send me to the grave early. <laughs> so I went cold turkey on both of them. Wow, you really turned so it around. I'm, pr I'm practically a healthy nut now. No alcohol, no tobacco or addictives. I'm eating better too. I've been trying up my water intake too. Do you know 70% of your body is made of water? Even though in that most people don't drink nearly enough water. If you don't get some quality water Excuse in your... Excuse me. <laughs> Maybe you could ease up on the water trivia and tell me a bit about Kirimocho. What happened with the Tojo clan that Naruma Ar I can't even say that. Well, it's gone. I don't know the first thing about it. But your bar was pretty popular with the Tojo clan guys, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. My bar is a health food now. When I've been smoking and drinking, I lost all, all those type of customers. I don't know what Yakuza are up to, and I couldn't care less about people who don't treat their bodies like temples. <sighs> oh. But if you're so curious, why not track down Ushio? Ushio, remember? Oh yeah, the guy who used to sell black... <laughs> I'm not even gonna say that. He's a magazine writer these days. And he finds himself... He fancies himself to go to guy to guy coverage on the Yakuza. <laughs> really? Then that's perfect. Well, I have my doubts. He's... He's all the great... A journalist. He says he's out researching a story and then I see him slacking off by Children's Thanks. Park. Children's Park? Okay. So she wants to swing by her cafe and kind of clean ourselves up and stuff like that and eat healthy, not drink, not smoke. I'm pretty much trying to wrap that up because this is where I'm at the end of the video. Guys, if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, hit that notification <sighs> button. I'll be dropping way more videos in the future. Without further ado, guys, see you on the next amazing video.